Drivers behind the line. And three, two, one, power up. And we're powered up, starting the arcade game once again as the bots try to cross the line, try to gain control of the scale if they can do that, or gain control of the switch or the scale, they can gain autonomous quest ranking points. Two bots cross for the Red Alliance. One boss, one bot cross for the Blue Alliance. 69.25. That would be WA World Robotics spinning around. And the Red Alliance zone is 42.35. Robo Raiders are dancing around on the field. There goes 56.32. The Azamovians, they're at the power cube zone trying to push one of those cubes into the exchange zone so it can be placed in the vault. Sixty-nine twenty-five places one of those cubes into the exchange zone. It's now placed into the Red Alliance. Now here we go one more time. Fifteen to five is the score right now as we're down to seventy seconds left to go. All right, still a lot of action taking place on the field as the Red Alliance places another cube onto their switch. They have it activated, gaining one second point for every second that they have control of that switch. Now the Blue Alliance places one cube into their vault, gaining five points for that cube. As they have control of the switch, the Red Alliance does. The Red Alliance now has three cubes. They've activated their boost, doubling their points. They're gaining right now a rate of two per second for 10 seconds in the match. 5109 at the end of the match climbs up onto the platform, gaining five points as well. That's the end of match number 11. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got on the score. Red Alliance dropping the cube on the boss in the animation, winning the match 145 to 20. Notice at 5109, due to the score, dropped a little bit in the rankings, even though they won. 145.